G'day, Russ here, down at Portland again, gonna head out for a bit of a fish. Um, this morning there's been a few kings and a few tuna caught in close. I couldn't get here this morning because I had car trouble the other day and I had to borrow a car to get here, which means I couldn't leave um, first thing in the morning as like usual. So I left um, at about 12 o'clock, it's about 1.15 now. Gonna head out, um, try a few squid strips, see if I can get onto a king. Um, my mate Justin got his first king from the yak this morning on a squid strip, very happy for him. Just a bit disappointed I wasn't there to see it and have a crack myself, but that's, that's life. Um, got a um, double clutch to try in close today, I've never tried them before. Um, my normal Rapalas and a couple of barrel lures there for some snapper. Um, be interesting, a little bit of wind and chop but it's supposed to calm off later so we'll see where we go. All right. That's a fish. Well, it's going for a run too. Ah, oh, snag me, come on. Get in there. Bad first fish. I've got me line stuck in it. Not a bad first fish. Nice trevally. Ah, hooked in the top of the head. Gonna get them up straight away. Oh, now it's having a go. Shit. Nice, another Trevelli on the double clutch this time. Good fish, good fish. There's a pinky he might be, unless he's sideways, which is a big possibility with these three trebles. Might be a bit bigger. Feels like he's got a bit of go to him. Uh, I'm gonna stop guessing what they are, because I'm not doing a very good job. Oh, thank you, mate. Another nice Trevelli there. Oh, 
Wow, straight on. Oh, it's a snook. It's a nice snook too. Oh, went through me bloody, straight through me net. <laughs> Alright, you don't have that happen every day. Snook on the bloody, on the um, rainbow trout, as always. They just love them. Another snook. Oh, that's a nice one on the double clutch. Yeah, yeah, you big hua. Settle down. You can, you can do that all you like, mate. It's not going to help you.
my first key from the kayak. This one's not mistaken. Jeff's caught, so I'm gonna have to net him. I don't know how that's gonna go. Holy shit. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a dream come true right there. Sorry about the swear words, but sometimes you gotta. Got that hook in there beautifully.
Well, that's a great little afternoon session. I think I got 13 or 14 trevally. Enough there for bait and a few, few to eat for the, my friends and I who eat them. Um, an awesome kingfish and a couple of snook. So couldn't be any happier with that little afternoon session. As I mentioned earlier, I was disappointed I wasn't here for the morning, but um, well, I'm glad I'm here for the afternoon. So I had, um, that is my PB kingfish all together and um, definitely my PB kingfish out of the yak. Um, when I was a kid, I got one about that size up to the boat once and um, dropped it at the side of the boat when my uncle went to lift it in. And um, I've got a few just over size. So to get one like that out of the kayak, I am absolutely stoked. So I got it on just trawling a squid strip with a pea sinker on a 7.0 hook. And um, yeah, it really gave me a run for me money, but I got him in. Had a bit of trouble trying to get the gaff, but um, ended up getting him into the net. So I was pretty lucky there. Things can go wrong with big fish at the um, edge of the kayak, especially when um, your um, gaff is tangled up. But anyway, I got him in. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Now I've got to um, go clean me fish and get ready for tomorrow. Cheers. I'll see you next time.